Damn, Tabata ain't wasting no time. We already getting into the Heart Kingdom? We really about to do this right now? Tabata, like, what's going on? Black Clover Chapter 224. We getting into the Heart Kingdom. We getting info on the ruler of the Heart Kingdom. We got a little bit more of the relationship with Fenrol and his family. And this chapter, it was, again, a nice combination. But I'm starting to understand why Tabata said what he said when he introduced this arc as, uh, it's just a romance comedy type of thing. It was a, you know, a setup because the way the chapter struck Structured, but then at the same time, I, I'm still partially like, oh, but we going into the heart kingdom? Like, uh, let's talk about it. So the chapter opens up with Yami. Yami basically saying, hey, uh, it seems like there's no way to get into the heart kingdom because similar to how the Clover kingdom has barriers and whatnot, the heart kingdom also has barriers that keeps people out. So if somebody infiltrates, they'll immediately become a target and be hunted down and removed. And it could create a, a war, <laughs> an international incident, so to speak, because like, hey, what is somebody from the Clover kingdom doing trying to break into the heart kingdom? So it was structured to a point where, okay, we needed certain events of this chapter in order to have it sensible of like well how the hell did they get into the heart kingdom is the heart kingdom's defenses that weak they have no structure over there so the way they put it is like okay this is why we gotta go that way i mean i would have preferred just go straight through because also this chapter had me wondering like how much time are they giving Asta to be in the Clover Kingdom? Because he was basically kicked out in, in exile until he finds a solution or um basically proof of devils and all of that stuff dude is like going back and forth so like is he gonna go to the heart kingdom and then come back or what's going on because he only has a, a small crew with him right now i don't think that this is gonna last long to be honest with you it, it seems as though the heart kingdom probably might not turn out to be uh as important as i previously thought because for starters it was launched into it really quick and we're gonna get into everything with finn roll his brother and all that stuff but my, my thoughts on what's going on with the Heart Kingdom right now, it seems like this is going to be a very mini voyage uh, because it's not like he's going with the entirety of the Black Bulls like we previously thought as well. He only had what? Well, one of them isn't even a Black Bull, Mimosa, not a Black Bull. So him going to the Heart Kingdom right now is probably just going to be a couple chapters. I don't see that this is going to last into like a gigantic arc. I think in fact the nation of spade is going to be the big deal when we start the next serious arc i think we're still technically a part of the romance comedy i mean this chapter alone yet again had a lot of romance comedy bam great segue into finral because finral goes back and visits langris his brother and langris finally has woken up from you know that freaking nightmarish craziness that he was on that you know you he, he was possessed by the elf and he was attacking and going nuts or whatever and we kind of have a little bit of a back and forth between the two of them where Langris is of course because he's already just bitter and you know he's a he's a kind of a shitty little noble he's part of the golden dawn and aside from you know you know how the golden dawn really rock and he's just kind of like embarrassed like hey uh, I was uh, beaten by your junior I was uh, saved by you I try to attack the king so You've seen that Langris, even though, he, yeah, he, he's kind of like talking tough in a way. You can see that he's a bit remorseful, probably on, on the path to some type of character development. He's going to change his ways and try and amend some of the stuff that he's done in the past. And also probably gain, to a certain degree, a newfound respect for Fenrir, the fact that Fenrir did what he did. So it, it's showing a little bit of growth in Langris's part. Fenrir, however... That was really awesome to see because I've seen already there's a huge pattern with this arc. It, everybody's going back home or a good chunk of the characters are going back home. We had Gordon go back home last chapter. Now this one we got to see Finral interacting with Langris or whatever. So I think that that's what Tabata is using as like an intermediate before, like I said, we get to the next big arc. I don't think we are uh, embarking on the next big arc yet. I don't think he's just going to send like, you know, what... Finral, Asta, Mimosa, and Noel on a big, you know, 40 chapter, 100 chapter journey for the next arc. I think, again, these chapters are just kind of moving and progressing things and setting things up. This is one big setup arc. And then the romance comedy part of it was Finral basically like, so he manned up. He said, I'm going to be a man that my father recognizes and acknowledges. I'm going to try and become the head of this house. And also, I'm going to sweep finesse off of it which i love the name finesse which i really don't remember too much about finesse in the household of langris and 
uh, you know, Finroll and all of them. So it was a little bit hazy for me, but it seems as though Finroll, this is going to be a true test of his character because we know Finroll, he's a player player. He likes to talk and flirt with every beautiful woman that he sees. So now this is also going to embark him on some character development as well. Because now if he made that, pro, you know, proclaim, even Langris tested him after the fact and said, see, you're cursed. You can't stop yourself. But he's going to now try his best to change a bit and not flirt with every woman if he wants to be a one woman man so that was where the romance comedy part of this arc once again kicks in it seems as though every chapter even if we get advancement of the plot or information or whatever it's still like a small mini arc it's not really we're, we're not the, the heart kingdom isn't going to be as important and vital to Asta's future as I previously thought I think maybe it'll have some type of impact but nowhere close to it just being the next big arc and then of course we had cut to Mimosa that she's the reason why they were able to get into the Heart Kingdom to begin with because a few of her people from the Golden Dawn uh, she went and studied abroad with her brother at one point and now you know there's people studying abroad over there as well and I'm really really excited to see because we just got only one visual so far of the Heart Kingdom and it looks beautiful and all that stuff but from Mimosa's description that they have way different uh, magical technology over there I'm expecting to see some crazy stuff and unless we get like just only a small glimpse of it which again I'm not expecting to be in the Heart Kingdom that long if it passes five chapters six chapters that we're in the Heart Kingdom I will be shocked like this is how short term I think this visit to the Heart Kingdom is gonna be because I mean you gotta think there, there's a reason why they're the neutral Kingdom of Heart you know what I'm saying they're, they're not like a, a war ridden place um, and there was big setups for something there regarding Asta with the princess so we'll talk about that in a second but uh, I, I'm just excited to see what the Heart Kingdom has to offer as much as possible before they close the book on this chapter because Mimosa basically which again makes me think like as I continue to say she says like I, I can't believe that there's actually devils or curses over there like the princess at first of all like huge huge setup of how strong this woman is that she's able to defeat all of our magic knight captains by herself probably like if it went down to it the princess is that freaking strong in the heart kingdom so asta and them what are they really gonna do to her you know what i'm saying if it came down to it and she's pissed and tries to do something they can't do much she she's that freaking strong but also seemingly she has her eyes and hands on everybody in the heart kingdom so it's not like you can really get away with things or things can exist there without the princess knowing unless bada bing bada boom bada bang more than likely the princess is cursed the princess is probably cursed and that's probably what leads to her attraction so to speak and i don't mean like romantically although you never know even finroll is like oh not another beautiful woman but what she said about asta at the end of this chapter because they get on the boat which as Asta said, I didn't expect like, wow, they're really going to get into the Heart Kingdom on the up and up. They just got like some study abroad passes, I guess, from Mimosa, which it makes sense that the princess would already be suspecting that they're going to come. Like what she says at the end of this chapter is probably because she was the one that had to okay it. You can't, even from what Mimosa said, you can't get through the fog on these boats unless the princess allows it. And then the princess says something that uh, goes into exactly what I'm thinking regarding uh, her being cursed. Clover Kingdom's power of the devil. I must have it. And she has like a giant water maiden on top of her. She couldn't even believe that Asta actually did come. So maybe she's cursed somehow or another she believes that if she gets this devil power or this whatever that asta has within him or within his grimoire that she can somehow lift the curse up of her because it does it looked a little ominous i'm not gonna lie it didn't look like it was like peachy king but again we just have such a small cast that is going to the heart kingdom we still are technically a part of this romance uh, comedy arc right now so i don't really see this being that long stretch of a thing possibly something is going to be said something's going to be done to where she doesn't do anything to asta because she's right now interested seeming possibly using him to uh, again this is my theory of lifting whatever curse that she may have it's it's not going to be that long stretch of a thing so all in all the shop the black clover again keeping in line with what we've been getting thus far a lot of comedy some information i'm surprised honestly how quickly we started and got already into the heart kingdom i did not expect that but that also leads me to believe that we're not going to be here that long this isn't going to be the final destination of asta leaving the kingdom also uh, i guess i'm curious let's let's start um seeing what you guys think do you think that the heart kingdom is going to be the final destination for Asta also how is it like so are the Clover Kingdom just allowing him to come and go like when he tries to come back from visiting the Heart Kingdom are they gonna let him back in the Clover Kingdom like how is that gonna work because again it seemed as though legally he's been exiled from there and he's supposed to be escorted to the Nation of Spade with the Black Bulls which is 
everything that is leading me to believe that this is going to be a small arc uh what do you think about the princess like she sounds overpowered as hell like the fact that she could potentially take out every magic knight of the clover kingdom by herself i don't even think julius at his prime well julius at his prime was a monster i would actually i would love to have seen that like one big war with like you know the magic emperor of the clover kingdom and the princess of the heart going at it Woo! but of course you know, Julius is a little kid now, so what really is he going to be able to do against something like that? Any overall thoughts and expectations for the future of this arc of Black Clover with chapter 225 and beyond? It seems as though many stuff going on. Maybe the princess wants that devil to possibly lift the curse that she has because she has that, again, that water maiden. She looked a little ominous. These are all theories. We don't know for sure exactly what's going on. We did see, again, the princess with the water maiden, but... Um, maybe she's cursed and she thinks Asta's the answer to it. Or maybe she thinks that he's evil and she's going to try to purge him out of here regardless. So laugh for this one though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links of course in the description below. I'm from the world. And as always people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day peace in enjoy the next ride but i was the best ride but i hope you know that